inspired by the new Morbius film and have created this project file specifically in HitFilm so that you can easily put yourself into any scene and have your own echolocation effects. Let's take a look at how to do this inside of HitFilm. The first thing you'll need to do is download the project file for free in the description. Open it up inside of HitFilm and bring your green screen footage into the Your Footage Here composite shot. Now we often get asked, does it need to be green screen? And the answer is no, but it's much easier if you film yourself against something that can be keyed out. This is so that you can separate yourself from the background. Be sure to check out our video on low budget green screens if you need some ideas on how to get creative at home. Now we're going to add our background footage into the Your Background Here composite shot. The background in my comp was an environment rendered out of Unreal Engine, but yours can be a live action plate or whatever fits your scene. The pulses are controlled by these grade layers, and you can retime them by moving the layers themselves. Grade layers don't affect your footage if you have nothing on them, but they do affect everything below them as soon as you apply an effect. So we have grade layers and they have two circle mask shapes. These shapes are keyframed to animate outwards and create a ring sort of shape. On this grade layer, we have fractal noise, which adds texture to the background. Then we use curves and hue, saturation, and lightness to raise the brightness and add any sort of color variation. Finally, a heat distortion effect, and because this is a grade layer, it affects whatever background we end up putting in. If you're wanting to do the effects in the eyes, that will be customized to your specific video. First, you're going to want to motion track each eye and apply it to its own point layer. Then create planes that are the same colors as the whites of your eyes and attach them to each point layer. Mask them out using the freehand mask tool, and don't forget to feather them so that the edges are a bit blurry. I'll use another couple of planes for the pupils, changing the color to a darker black. For this, I'll use the polygon mask shape tool, which allows me to customize the points in the viewer. Finally, another heat distortion effect to make them less perfect and more distorted. Customize the heat distortion to fit your scene, and remember that the seed value generates a random instance for every number. Remember to explore the project file and let us know if you have any questions about the techniques we used in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.